Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I call up with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Put that down. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby.
Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? ideas, huh? Come on, there's got to be something creative in that brain of yours. I guess you're in one of your quiet moods. 
Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? No, I'm looking at you. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... <sighs> I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Are you are you sure you were actually attacked? There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss.
Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. Well, let's see if I can break it somehow. All right. Be careful. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom, exactly? <sighs> Maybe the government? The United States Forest Service? Are you a Douglas fir? Is your trunk infested with bark beetles? Because if not, I promise you, they don't give a shit about you. Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't... 
have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Whew. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see, the scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. So, is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. You'll cross a small ravine and you shouldn't be able to miss it. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> Talk to any of the scouts? No, they 
haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics. Model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. Uh... Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that... Maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? I've got to figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you.
Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon.
Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. Are you okay? No, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Hey. Uh... I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know, and I didn't. I, I I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Oh, fuck, Delilah. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this.
Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Ah, uh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? So, I found notes between these two rangers, Ron and Dave. You know them? Yeah. What do they have to do with anything? Well, nothing, I don't think. I just found a cassette tape one of them left for the other. Do you think it could be anything like the tape you have of us? No, I think it's just music. Well, if it's the new Milli Vanilli, it could be just as incriminating.
I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <clears throat> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. <laughs> 